The next time you invite six people to your party, say to them, in a group of six people, so among you guys, there are three who all know each other or who don't know each other at all. Wouldn't that be a cool party trick? Also, you cannot guarantee this with five people, but six people is enough to guarantee this. Next, I also want to say that this is a pretty popular question in graph theory. So if you've never heard of graph theory before, or you're just starting to learn it, then welcome to this video. This is a pretty cool introductory problem to graph theory. So how do we prove this result? It's true, so how do we prove it? Suppose we already have our six people. One, two, three, four, five, six. All seated around a table. <laughs> now, consider an arbitrary person, person one. We know that person one must know or not know some other person. Never both, of course, but can either know or not know some other person. So that's obvious, but that basically tells us there's only two options for determining person's one, person one's relation to someone else. So with that fact, if you really think about it, this would mean that there are at least three people which person one knows or does not know. So for instance, person one might know six, but not know the others. Well, that satisfies the condition. There are four people which person one does not know. So that's at least three. But if person one knew five also, then okay, that's still satisfied. There's three people that person one does not know. But if person one also knew person four, well, that still satisfies the condition because now there are three people which person one knows. So regardless, there must be at least three people which person one knows or does not know. So here is the deal. I'm going to connect a straight line, a solid straight line to every person that person one knows. And I'll assume without any loss of generality that person one knows person two, person three, and person four. So the solid straight line is for knowing. And I'll connect a crooked line to anyone that person one does not know. So person one, I'll assume without loss of generality that person one does not know six and person one does not know five. So this is for not know. Now, let's translate this problem in terms of graph theory, I should say. Let's translate this problem. Notice that this problem is equivalent to asking us to prove that within this graph, there must be a triangle made up of the same type of line, right? So for instance, for, so for instance, if we had a triangle like this with one, four, and three, then this would mean that all of them know each other. Of course, we assume that knowing is mutual. So if one knows three, then three must know one back. So we have this kind of triangle. If we can prove that this graph must contain a triangle made up of the same line type, then we have proven the result. So we can either have this or we can have something like this, right? All crooked line triangle with maybe one, six, and five. So let's set out to prove that there must exist such a triangle in this graph. First off, let's assume the worst case scenario. That's how we often get to our proof. First off, notice that we know that if two and three know each other, that instantly completes a triangle with one, two, and three. So to assume the worst case scenario, let's assume that two and three does not know each other. Okay, still not proven. Well, we're trying to come up with the worst case scenario, right? So <laughs> let's keep on going. If four and three knew each other, then that would, again, form a triangle with one, four, and three. Right, one, three, and four. <laughs> so we draw a crooked line to assume the worst case. Now, consider two and four. If two and four knew each other, then that would complete a triangle with one, two, and four. That instantly destroys it. Okay, well, we need to connect a crooked line. So two and four does not know each other. Uh-oh, but that forms a triangle with two, three, and four, a triangle made up of crooked lines. So we can see that when we took the worst case scenarios, we see that no matter what, this formed a triangle. Therefore, we can conclude that this graph will always contain a triangle made up of the same line type, which is equivalent to proving this statement. Now, you might also be thinking, okay, but here we assume that one knew three people. What if one did not know three people? You know, only knew, uh, only knew two others. Well, 
That is symmetry. If you think about it, this is that symmetry is just equivalent to switching out the solid lines with the crooked lines and the crooked lines with the straight lines, solid straight lines. And basically, as you can see, by symmetry, this proof wouldn't be different, right? It really wouldn't be different. So you don't have to worry about the symmetrical cases. Furthermore, if one knew four other people, well, then it wouldn't matter because we still were only considering considering the ring of three people. So that wouldn't change the proof whether if one knew an additional person. So therefore, we have concluded our proof. So the next time you invite six people to your party, maybe consider, you know, stating this fact. If you would consider subscribing, then I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.